say, from St. John's, uh, Connor Mercer, a grade 11, and also Quintus Kilborn from St. John's as well. Good to have both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank Great you. Great to be here. Thanks. Okay, I need a bit of explaining here because I read that introduction acting like I knew what I was talking about. To be honest with you, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. This sounds so amazing. Tell me more about this competition. Uh, well, so they asked us, they asked us um, if we wanted to take in a competition, really, and they told us we didn't have to do a science expo, um, which is a competition or a, a experiment every student has to do every year for science marks. And so we started off by doing that, and we ended up. Um, uh, in a competition where schools compete um, and design an experiment to go to CERN in Geneva and put, like, carry out this experiment. Wow. And what did it entail? I mean, talk to me about this experiment. What was it all about? Well, um, what, we, what we wanted to do is obviously when you accelerate light, you get radiation. So that's, and usually what's been done is that you bend light with magnets and you get that bending of light which causes the acceleration. And usually what they use are magnets, but these are huge magnets. So yeah. what we've done is we've created a crystal. We're not actually creating it right now, right now but it's being grown in the labor laboratories. And it's a small crystal like this, and it's got a low um, amplitude and low period. And what it does is that it creates a, a, a high energy light source. And eventually we would be able to produce gamma rays. And gamma rays have a wide range of uses. You know, you can break down nuclear waste with gamma rays, you medical purposes. You know, we're even joking in the car that maybe one day it could help with cancer, you know, research. Yeah, yeah. And that's basically, you know, just this bending of light to create a high energy light source that is gamma rays. That's fantastic. So how did it come about? I mean, did you, is it something that you, you work together in conjunction with your teachers and come up with these ideas? Or is it pretty much so the students' ideas? Um, the idea itself came from last year's team, uh, which also put in the experiment or the competition. Um, and we just uh, developed the idea and made it slightly better. Um, and the, the, real, the real work from our side came from um, making an a application form that we sent in a thousand word form and a video that we also had to send in to apply. Yeah. So you go there, you present this and you win. Yeah, well, we didn't actually present. You have to hand in, in the so proposal. You hand it yes, in. Okay. it's a thousand-word document explaining in its simplest parts, well, with the science behind it, what you're going to do, and then they have a, it's a whole um, selection process, and then we got selected alongside a school from Italy. That is absolutely fantastic, guys. I mean, this is this is putting South Africa on the map where we want to be put on the map yeah. because um, you know we've, we we're always hearing about how we're lagging behind on science and mathematics and, and we need innovative ideas and innovations. And these are the things that we need. And I mean, it's young guys like you that are driving it. D do you find that more um, of the youth in your generation are loving science and coming up with these great ideas and wanting to move in these career paths? Um, exactly. I, I, I think um, the fact that the Bernardo boys are also partaking so much and actually contributing a, a lot um, is, is evidence that people are boys our age are really becoming more interested in, yeah. in science as opposed to maybe a few years ago, although I can't say I wasn't at school then. <laughs> yeah. Well, when did you become interested in science? Was it from when you went to school or even before you went to school? You just loved playing Well, I think St. John's helped a lot with that because we were speaking in the car and the primary schools we went to, there wasn't such a great emphasis on science and, you know, projects and research and that kind of thing. But when we went to St. John's, this whole idea of scientific method and everything like that arose. And, you know, the teaching staff we have, we, our teacher, Dr. Hennings, got a PhD. Yeah. You know, we, we've certainly blessed. And I think working in conjunction with these boys from Bernardo Park is really bringing it together and basically accelerating Africa, you know. Yeah. We've got, we're sitting at the bottom in maths and science. And I think with these kinds of projects, we can literally put South Africa on the map scientifically, you know. Yeah. It's something that we can really do. I mean, what I'm gathering from you is that even though you guys maybe have the intellectual capacity, you go to a school, but if you don't have that teacher who's passionate yeah. about the subject that they're teaching you and has that amazing know-how, perhaps this would never have happened? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So in other words, it is, it is up to both the student and the teacher uh, to extract the best out of each other. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I went for career guidance earlier this year and I was telling the, the person who was conducting the interview and I was telling them, well, really, I don't know which subject is my favorite because it's not about the subject really to me. It's about which teacher is my favorite. And science ranks really high in my list. You know, I like science because my teachers are really dedicated and interest me. Yeah.
That's amazing. So, so you're in grade 11. I mean, you've got to start making career choices very, very soon. Is this the field you want to move into? Do you want to do science, perhaps? <sighs> what, what, do you want to, what do you want to be? Well, yeah, I suppose the whole idea, I, I, would, I would like to uh, study medicine. Yeah. And that would obviously entail doing a BSc, well, first year BSc, and maybe moving across there and doing basic uh, physics and chemistry. But I don't know, I suppose we're still young, you know, the paths. Yeah, and obviously when we go to Switzerland, change. you know, we'll maybe change our minds, you know, we, this is our calling and that will go into those Excellent. scientific fields, you know. What about you? Um, I never really considered anything to do with science um, up until now, but, but this journey I've, I've gone through with CERN or the Beam Line competition, I've, I've really actually started considering um, perhaps reconsidering my choice to yeah. do law. Yeah, well, you never know. I mean, this, this could be your calling. Just finally, what happens now? So you're up there, you, you're one of the winners with the school. What, what goes on? I mean, this invention, where, where do we go from here? Well, oh, now the work starts, yeah, really. No. <laughs> um, we have to learn uh, C++ basic programming and then another program. And we're basically just preparing ourselves to go to CERN um, in Geneva in September. Yeah. Um, and then, then we carry out the experiment there. And that, that's the real... It's the real test. The climax yeah. of, of what we're doing, yeah. So then it's between you and the, and the other school. Well, actually what they're doing is they're creating a particle detector using a chip from a webcam. So that's what we're trying to, we're going to work in conjunction with them. So we're going to detect our particles with their chip. So Fantastic. it's going to be a fused experiment. So that's how that we're working together. Unbelievable. So it's obviously connecting Italy now and South Africa as well. We're so proud of you guys. Thank you so, Thanks. so much. I mean, just seeing you gives me such hope and, and such pride in our youth today. Uh, Quintus Kilborn from uh, St. John's, grade 11 there. And also Connor Mercer, also St. John's, grade 11. Guys, well done. Congratulations. Come back and tell us what happens in September. Oh All right. Have a fantastic trip. Uh, the European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, Beamline for Schools Competition, 2015 and these are one of the winners let's take a break